Hello, welcome back to GOT. Today we're gonna to talk about the updated SSD in the Mac Mini. I did a video on this a few months ago. I put a two terabyte SSD replacing the original 256 gigabyte. Let's talk about it. Now, since I've installed this internal SSD on my Mac Mini M4, it's the basic model that I paid $4.99 for. This thing has really performed well and I've got a lot of questions. As a matter of fact, the video had over 400,000 views and I've gotten thousands of requests on, is it still performing well? How well is it do? Can you get updates? And so many more, and we're gonna answer those in just a few minutes. But before then, I'm gonna go ahead and run some benchmarks on the SSD that's in here, the two terabyte, and we're gonna compare it to the original SSD, which was 256 gigabytes, as well as this new Acasis external Thunderbolt 5 enclosure with one of the fastest SSDs out there. It's a four terabyte 9100 made by Samsung. And this thing is really screaming fast. And we're gonna see how it compares because Thunderbolt 5, <laughs> as you know, is really fast. But I've always said an internal SSD that has a lot more NANs and is faster will outperform these external drives. And let's see what happens here. As you can see right here, I've got my Mac Mini right in front of me as well as a touch screen which is really nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my mouse though instead because it's much more accurate. And we're gonna go ahead and run some tests here. And as you can see here, I'm using Blackmagic Design and this thing is really nice for this kind of a test. And what I'm gonna do first is, well, I'm just gonna test it right here, straight up. And I'm going to test it right from my, what, download file, because I've got a lot of downloads there. And we'll just go ahead and save that. And as you can see here, we'll start the test. How's it going? It's performing pretty good. It's getting close to 3000 here right off the get go. It gets a little faster over time. So we'll just give it a, a few uh, tries here. So you can see we're at 3300, right? 2900. Now I found that this happens no matter what kind of SSD I have, whether it's an external or internal, it needs to ramp up with this program. So you can see it's doing pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and lock in this next score as we finish the read here right there. So we've got 3343, which is pretty good. Those 3300 write speed and a 2900 or nearly 3000 read speed. So that's pretty good. Now, looking at the original, you can see here on the screen from my previous video. Okay, now let's go ahead and we'll test it against the cases. But before we do, let's go ahead and do an internal test again. I think I did something wrong the first time because I know the speeds are a little bit faster. So we'll go ahead, let this select, and we'll just go and select what we were at downloads before. We'll do downloads again, open it, and let's go ahead and start. And here we go. Look at this. We've got uh, 4,400 speeds and 28. So the write speed is quite a bit <laughs> faster than the two or the 256 gigabyte and it's only gotten better over time. And that could be because of some updates that I have received with Mac's OS system. So that was one of the questions. Can you still receive updates? Let me go ahead and lock this in. There we go. Can we still receive updates with the Mac mini having a different SSD that wasn't from Apple? Well, yes, we can. And I've received several. And as you can see, these speeds are really improved. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and capture this screen here. And um, we're gonna set this image here to the side. And then we're gonna go ahead and test again. This time, we're gonna go ahead and test with the a cases, as we said. And this is a much faster Thunderbolt 5 drive, but I don't think we're gonna do as well on Thunderbolt 4. So let's go ahead and test it. And you can see there's the cases right there. So before we test this is case, let's just go ahead and verify the SSD by opening up the um, utility here. And you can see the, the SSD inside the Mac is a two terabyte and that cases has a four terabyte. Now, the larger the drive, the more NADs it has, which means it should write faster. However, because this is an external drive, we may not get those speeds. So let's go ahead and we're gonna choose a cases and we will go ahead and just choose any file here. Um, we'll just choose my animations file here. It's got a lot of videos in it. All right, so here we go. Let's get this thing started. And there we go. 
Okay, we've got 36, 30. So we've got faster speeds. Oh, it's starting to pick up. So we'll give it a little bit of time. It looks like we're getting a faster read speed with the uh, cases, but we're not getting the faster write speed. The faster write speed is still the SSD that's on the motherboard or inside the Mac Mini itself. So I don't think you can get faster speeds than what you have internally. But if you want something that's close or similar without having to get the SSD, you can go with an Acasis. Now, the thing about that is you got to spend a lot of money. OK, this Acasis, I believe, is upwards around two hundred and ninety nine dollars. And then this right here is like four hundred and twenty five dollars if you catch it on sale. So now you're up to over seven, eight hundred dollars. You might as well pay for that upgrade internally on the Mac Mini. Of course, you have to do that when you buy it, because I don't think Samsung will sell it to you outside of that. Let me go ahead and lock this one in. There we go. So you can see the differences in the speed is quite a bit when it comes to write on the internal. But when it's reading, it's very nominal. It's about the same. It's a little bit faster on the cases. And that's with Thunderbolt 4. So for those folks that say, ah, oh, you can get an external drive and you can get just as fast as you could if you bought the SSD to put on the internal, I say that's not so in most cases, at least. This is the fastest external drive that I've seen out there. It's a Thunderbolt 5, and it's the only one that I know that has the firmware that will actually do the fastest SSD. This SSD is capable of writing and reading up to 14,000 megabytes per second. That is screaming, but Thunderbolt does not allow that just yet. So there's got to be some other way to do that at some point. But this is the only drive that I know they will actually run this. I, I can put this in, I have a Zyke drive, but that Zyke drive runs it quite a bit slower because it's only Thunderbolt 4. Now there might be some other Thunderbolt 5 drives out there that you can put it in, but this one seemed to be working the best for me. It's got a built-in fan, which you cannot hear no matter how much you try. I've put it up against my microphone in other videos, and you can check out that video if you want to on the channel where I review this Acasis. So now it's time to hear from you. I want you to drop a comment down below. Tell me, what do you think is better, internal SSD or an external Thunderbolt 4 SSD through an external drive? Because your opinion does matter. So a lot of people actually comment on my last video and there's been a lot of chatter. Now, for those of you that have stuck around this long, I got a special gift for you. Before I tell you what that is, take a second, do me a favor, Click that like button down below because it really does help out the channel. So here's what I'm going to do. This right here is an SSD two terabyte for the Mac Mini M4. Not the Mac Mini Pro, but the Mac Mini M4, the basic model. So if you buy it out of the store, it comes with a 256 gig. You can get two terabytes right here. And I'm going to give this away. Now, here's the requirements for this giveaway because i got a benefit from this, you know? <laughs> I need at least a thousand likes, a thousand comments, and 20,000 views. Now to qualify for win winning this, I need you to go ahead and make sure you comment below something like, I would love to have the two terabyte SSD. Now you can phrase it any way you want to, but it needs to have the two terabyte SSD in it. So when I search, I can find you and enter you to win. Now there is one more step and I need you to go to gotgoodoldtech.com. And once you do, you go to the main page, there'll be a link to go ahead and register for this drawing. And then as soon as we hit 1000 likes, 1000 comments and 20,000 views, this could be yours. And lastly, I wanna thank you for viewing this, my original video, I appreciate all the support. Now, if you wanna see a full review on the Acasis external drive, Check out this video here. If you want to see the review on install and the install of this SSD, check out this video over here. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. Have a wonderful day and God bless.